Uh, welcome back, everybody. Unfortunately, in our my last recording, I lost the. Uh, I had some technical difficulties, and I lost my uh, last episode that I recorded. Unfortunately, I won't be able to recover it. I've got so basically, I took uh, Palmra over here and Bostra, and we've got Opius the Mad over here in the desert. Uh, building watchtowers. So we've got Egypt almost all the way conquered. They just have two territories left. Um, I'm gonna try to make them a, a client state, but uh, the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. I'll have to wait till next turn to go ahead and try that. Uh, my diplomat over here is not very good. I, I think I might... I actually have a way better diplomat. Uh, than him, uh, but he's pretty far away. He's over here, so I may try to get him here. But I think it'll help if I defeat these armies um, first. If they don't have much military left, then I think they're more likely to accept the deal. I had Decimus over here fighting uh, rebels. I will get him to march out. We're gonna fight these armies of Egypt. I've been building up troops. Let's see, I'm gonna, I don't need this Roman archer. I'm gonna get a much better, much better quality troops for this invasion. Let's go ahead and buff it up. So I've also been uh, working on my invasion plans of for the Civil War. I'm uh, building up troops extensively. I'm getting them, getting a bunch of armies up here in Segestica. I'm setting up troops to be placed on the river crossings. I don't have one here because it looks like the rebels are doing that for us. It's actually, these are Bastarni mercenaries and they've got their Archer Warband. This is actually, would be a really tough enemy to beat on a bridge. I mean, I could do it, but I mean, I could just do it with a bunch of archers. However, I'm just going to let them sit here. We've, we've got a little bit of a garrison in Blizora and Thessalonica, so if uh, Dacia tries anything, we'll be ready for them. The Julii really aren't out here anymore. Dacia is a client state of the Julii, so when I declare war on the Senate, Dacia will declare war on me. My plans are to invade Capua and probably send the majority of my armies out against the Julii. The uh, Scipio, I plan to use my navy to keep them in check, keep their units in Africa, and prevent them from crossing over. They have just a ton of troops out here in Africa. And over here in the east, I do I am a little bit concerned about Parthia, uh, uh, however Parthia is currently at war with Armenia, so I think Armenia and Parthia can keep each other busy and they won't bother with me, we'll see. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, looks like we've got a new commander and he's a bureaucrat, he's 16 years old, we're going to go ahead and grab him, let's see where he's located at. Okay, he is in Bostra right now. Yeah, he's uh, he married um, Domitia, who is uh, only 15. Well, I guess he's only 16, so that's not too bad. Yeah, he's the son-in-law son of Opius the Mad. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get him over to a little bit. He he can be a manager, and actually, I may send him out to fight in the Civil War. We'll see. Do I have any academy set up anywhere? Does Jerusalem have an academy? No, Jerusalem. Although Jerusalem is a, ah, I can build an academy here. So let's get him over here into Jerusalem, and he can manage uh, Jerusalem and maintain the the uh, troops out here. And again, I've got some uh, more Praetorian cohorts, building onagers, and a lot of auxilia, a lot of peasants to maintain public order, retraining a lot of guys because I'm. All right, continuing to build forums, dockyards, got an arena, getting arenas, some farms. And yeah, we're getting some good retinue with all of our academies and scriptorums. We are now losing money. We're in the negative 13,000, but we're going to continue to recruit and build. And uh, we have quite a bit of treasury left, so I think, uh, I think we're going to be all right. Let's get Egypt over here. Let's see if we can get them become a client state. We'll give them a lot of money. Give them like uh, 50,000 denarii to become our client state. See if they will go for that. Alright, no, it's still a no. So we'll continue to build up this military. Alright, so I've got my army all set up here. Gonna bring 
all of my toughest guys over here. Actually, I might be able to get a better cavalry. Have him go back. Alright, so I've got an army of some of my best troops. We're going to send them out and deal with uh, either finish him off or uh, make him a client state. Alright, I'm going to get Galerius out of here and send him over March. to participate in the Civil War. We're also going to send a full stack of troops and a navy back as well. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Hey, we got a Senate office for Cornelius the Thinker. Nice. Continue to recruit. I was, thought I was a little bit low on cavalry, so I focused a little bit more on cavalry this turn. And we got a couple of dockyards, so that should help with our little with our income a little bit. And same with highways. Oh no, Galerius Victor died. Um, Oppius the Mad. I'm gonna have him sneak up a little bit closer and build a watchtower, see if we can keep an eye on Parthia. We'll get at least, uh, like if they start sending a big stack out this way, we'll get at least uh, like a couple General. of turns warning with this watchtower, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna have them come back over here, build another watchtower here. Do I wanna fight these guys with just uh, Decimus by himself? I don't know, I don't know if we can handle it. A lot of spearmen, that doesn't concern me. It's mostly this army here with all the chariots that I'm worried about. It's basically three full stacks if you count their garrison. And a couple of uh, generals, plus they have their faction leader who is actually really good command and Decimus has no command. So I'm gonna get a little bit of backup for him. I might try to draw him out. So he could strike me, uh, they all could get me. But I don't think they'd be able to s surround me. Can I move him back one General. step? Okay, yeah, so if they come here, if they attack me this turn, they can only get one stack to attack me. They might be able to send one stack below me and one stack here and surround me. I don't know if the AI is going to be smart enough to do that. So let's leave him here. Let's tempt General. him to send one stack at a time, maybe try and attack me. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some reinforcements for Decimus over here. So my second stack here is actually lacking any kind of archers. But I'm gonna keep all these archers in with Decimus's army. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Okay, just continuing to train up. I focused on a lot of uh, naval forces this turn. Got a few uh, more archers over in Egypt. And we're going to load up this uh, stack over here with archers. Alright, uh, we built some mines. We got some Imperial Palace in Athens. Upgraded Salona. We got some highways and some markets got a Seamaster. Let's go take a look at the end of turn reports. We're still in the negative, but I, our treasury is still quite large, so we're okay. I'm gonna go and uh, stick uh, Decimus Brutus over here on the mountains, see if they'll be tempted to attack him just all by himself. If I have the high ground, I think I would definitely be able to defeat them. Uh, I'll be able to set up a good defensive position and hit him with my archers, I think. Uh, this other one, we just got our archer back up, so we're not going to move them forward. Alright, we got a quite a large rebel force over here in Jerusalem. I do have a lot of... <laughs> don't have much. I have this large stack here. Uh, I'm going to get uh, our Flavius over here to go out and... We were going to send these guys back, but we can wait one turn, have Flavius lead them, and let's go ahead and hit this uh, large rebel force here. And what do we have here? A lot of Judean zealots. They have 11 attacks, 7 defense, they've got a rebel general, an archer. I wonder if these guys are uh, pikemen or just regular spearmen. They have the bonus fighting cavalry. We should be able to take them pretty easily, but that'll have to wait one more turn. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start moving my generals out to uh, 
to the front lines over here and we're gonna get the Civil War started pretty soon. So we got Secundus. He doesn't have any command traits, but he doesn't really have any negative traits either, except for uh, the mildly extravagant. So let's get him out. It's like nobody has any kind of command experience or command natural command skill. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see if he has any negative morale of traits. Wow. He's corrupt, so he could get bribed pretty easily with our generals. I want a couple of generals. Uh, this Asinius Macrinus is definitely our best general with three command stars right now. If we look at our list here, we got Vibius the Wrathful, but he's got the negative morale penalty. And we got Oppius. Really don't have many great leaders. Um, in our faction. So I think I need a couple more generals. I don't know who I'm gonna send. How about Flavius? Again, he's uh, could be easily bribed. He does have the engineer trait and he's a sneaky ambusher. Let's go ahead and send him as well. And we'll get him on the boat. Alright, we got Appius Platorus over here. We're gonna get him going. He's uh, not very good, but Compared to everyone else, I think uh, he'll have to do. Uh, I'm going to need to get a ship for him. I'll train it in Sardis and he can go out next turn. Actually, I got a fleet right here for him. Get him moving out. I've got my fleets lined up over here. I'm going to get this uh, Ludus Magna over here in Athens because, uh, I don't know, it might help us get better leaders or something. Alright, and ending another turn. Alright, so they did attack us out in the field. We have Captain Lintolis. This was our backup army, but thankfully we did get those archers in here. But it's not as tough as our other army. However, they didn't bring their full force. Just one stack, and it does have a lot of chariots, even chariot archers. And we don't have our best archers. We have one, two units of archer axilla. Not everybody's upgraded, but we do have odds on them. Uh, maybe we can even get a man of the hour. Who knows? But this is their faction leader, so we'll have to be worried about that. Interesting battle formation. We've got this giant rock that could be really useful for defensive purposes, especially with their chariots. So I think I'm going to try to take advantage of that. We do have some high ground over here. We could utilize that as well. Alright, I've got my guys lined up over here by the rock. I'm going to go ahead and send my Bedouins out. Here comes their chariots. They're wasting no time. But we should be able to hold. Let's get these guys to help. And they're already routed. We've got some cavalry over here. Let's see, that's their desert cavalry. They're going after our Bedouins. Uh, they're rampaging chariots. Everyone hold their ground. Reform up. Let's get our cavalry to chase after these guys. Uh, looks like they're going to get our Bedouins. That's okay. Uh... Yeah, let's just kind of hold the defensive lines over here. Uh, here they come trying to flank us, but we've got guys here that will be able to deal with them. we got our Roman cavalry. And, um... Let's go. I, let's get our Triarii after their chariots on the right. We got their faction leader. Let us hope he does not poison the carrion birds. And what do we got over here? Some desert cavalry, okay. Halt. You guys go over here. You guys line up. Uh, we 
got some uh, cohorts uh, routed. And um, we do have, okay, those guys are routing. I want to get, let's protect ourselves over here. Okay, they're attacking our right flank. Let's get our Triarii here too. I'm gonna have these guys wheel over like this. Let's have these guys help out. Just hold your positions. All right, these uh, Nubian or Nile Spillman are routing. What do we got over here? Some more desert cavalry. I got a. It's just going crazy over here. Okay, you guys just line up. Triaria, get back over here. Uh, what do we got over here? We got some Nubian spearmen. Let's uh, let's surround them with our cavalry and get our cohorts just to uh, face off with them. Oh, you guys just halt, please. Line up. Legionaries. Okay, what do we got over here? We're being attacked by two cavalry. We want to surround these uh, newbie, and they'll probably route pretty quickly. Yep. All right, what do we got over here? Still chaos. Okay, line up. So we've managed to kill 63%. I think they are in an all-out retreat. Let's pursue. I'm going to be careful here. Is it a victory good enough to get a man of the hour? Pretty good. Uh, we only lost 557 against a pretty tough army, actually. So it's not bad. Oh, and they're hitting us again. This time they're going after Decimus with another unit. And again, they have a lot of uh, chariots. But no commander this time, but Decimus doesn't have any command stars, so it doesn't really matter. They're hitting us in a thick fog, or a sandstorm, actually. All right, we kind of got a small hill for defense. This time I'm doing a little bit different. I'm having my Auxilia and Triari in the second rank. First rank having all my cohorts. And then um, I think I'm going to probably concentrate my cavalry on their right flank. So I'm going to go ahead and get over here. Actually, yeah. I'm going to have them go here. Have my Bedouins attack this group over here. And let's go. Let's have uh, these guys run. We're going to fo yeah, focus on their right flank. Let's go ahead and take out these axemen. Try to get or these uh, Nile cavalry real quick. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, our Bedouins are routed. Let's uh, try to get my cavalry away from their chariots. They got their Nubian cavalry. Let's go ahead and hit them. Should get them to route soon. Yep. I'm gonna get these uh, Auxilla to the right flank, take on their chariots. Get these guys here to protect our left. Let's go. Okay, 
the general with fear. Now he flees. Okay, those guys are routed. Let's get these guys back. My general over here. Alright, they got Desert Axeman. We'll hit him with our cavalry. And get these Axilla to take on those guys. Cavalry. Line up over here. What are these guys doing? The cohorts. Let's go like this. Looks like they are now in a tactical withdrawal. So let's pursue. <laughs> Can uh, they catch up? I doubt it. Yeah, we've got 78% this time. Pretty good. We're taking a lot fewer casualties than the last battle. It's just a stronger force, I think. Alright. This was a really good victory. We only lost 280 guys. We killed most of them. Wow, an actually decent commander. Quintus Flores. Awesome. Let's get him. Okay, and he's over in Tarentum, which we can retrain him right away. So, that's cool. He's going to be part of the Civil War for sure. Yep, still training up. While we have the bunny. And we got our Pantheon in Tarentum, getting some more dockyards and getting just basic economic buildings. Alright, we had a lot of births this one, and we had a coming of age, Lucius Brutus. Oh, another good general, nice. Hey, we're, we're doing pretty good. This is a pretty good turn for us. Alright, and we got another admiral. Okay, so still in the negatives, but not too bad. Uh, just negative 3,000. We're still recruiting a lot, so expect the army upkeep to continue to go up. I'm going to get one of our fleets here, and we'll take him up and uh, have him do the northern invasion. Got another general here. Let's see what's less left of Egypt. So is this their new... F oh, he's the faction heir. Their new faction leader is uh, this guy. Let's see if he's ready to become a client state. We're not going to offer him any money this time. Nope, still not ready. Alright, let's go ahead and have Decimus go over here and attack. They won't have any reinforcements. So let's go hit their faction air. Attack! But won't be able to get him this turn. We'll have to wait till next turn. They might counter with an attack on me, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, we still got these uh, brigands over here to deal with. I think we can finally catch up to them. Let's take a look at the Judean Zealots. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's a giant hill over here, so uh, we're just going to try to line up here and uh, shoot from over here, if we have the range. Alright, looks like they're trying to charge us. I don't want to attack this guy with my cavalry because they have the bonus to fighting cavalry. So let's just have a little bit of a let's pull back a little bit. I want to definitely soften them up with my archers. Okay, there they've got a the rebel general over there. He's kind of uh, attacking us. But let's go ahead and uh, take him out real quick. If he, uh, he's heavy calf. He's a heavy missile calf. Like the Pontus Gems, I guess. We 
got him. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. All right. Looks like the rest of our archers are not in range. Okay, I actually think I can start firing at this group over here. in range and we're hitting them pretty good right now. So I managed to turn the tide and actually take the hill from them. And now we got our archers in range. Units, move out! Taking some friendly fire from our archers. Let's get these guys moving forward. So we don't hit that, get so much friendly fire. Because we're kind of firing uphill and over. Alright, they're already routed before they can even reach us up at the top of the hill. Oh, they it was their archers. I wonder if that wasn't friendly fire. And instead it was uh, their archers hitting us. Okay, what do we got over here? Let's uh, back up our cavalry because they have bonus to cavalry. Let's send our cohorts after them. Or they might just back up. Nope. Let's just hold firm. Destroy them with our arrows. Alright, we wiped him out with only four losses. Pretty good victory. And we got another little group of archers over here. Um, let's have an archer duel. Let's send our Cretan archers against their archers. Let's see if we can uh, beat them in an archer duel. And I think we'll have the range advantage over them, so... I don't think I'm too worried about losing too many of my best Cretan archers. If not, I can just reinforce them with another unit. But I don't think I will lose a lot. All right, we gotta move up a little bit closer, and then we should be able to fire soon. And we should be beyond their range. All right, here we go. We're now in range. And they're moving forward. We killed about 30 guys in that first volley. Killed 60 guys. Um, we might have to do this hand to hand. And we got our captain behind him. Yeah, unfortunately they were able to catch up to us. We lost nine guys. Alright, let's just finish them off with arrows. Just 
Just their captain remaining. He might get away. Nope, we got him. Alright, yeah, we did lose nine guys. Uh, we healed one. But... Eh, I'll take it. And I'm just going to move this uh, backup unit uh, over here up on top of the mountains here. And uh, see if I can lure them out to attack him. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, we're continuing to recruit. A lot of peasants because we're working on public order. Trying to raise our taxes. Getting a lot of ships upgraded. Take a look at our construction. We got the awesome Temple of Mercury in Kydonia. That should help with trade. We built some mines, got some markets, paved roads. Alright, we're still in the negative. Our treasury continues to go down. But we still got a lot of money. So I think I'm going to have Decimus attack, but I'm going to uh, reinforce my cavalry just a little bit. See if I can get some improved cavalry over... I guess I can't can't make it in time. I wonder if that's because this guy is basically in the way. Nope, still can't do it. I don't have enough movement points. What if I move Decimus up here? Then I can get these guys. Yeah. There we go. Got the some improved cavalry. That's about it. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Oh, looks like they fled. So we're going to have to fight their faction air. Over here they'll have some reinforcements that will come from the west. We should be able to handle this army pretty easily. They're just uh, Nubian spearmen. Uh, a little bit of chariots in their reinforcements, but not too much. Let's go ahead and fight. Alright, so they've got their army right in front of us, but their reinforcements are coming over here in this corner. I think I'm going to try to deal with the reinforcements first. So let's get everyone to double time. And um, this is mostly their, uh, their pikemen. So um, I don't know if they're going to try to pursue us. It looks like they're just holding firm, so that's good. So I don't need to run. Although we kind of want to take this hill. So let's hurry up. They're going to take some time getting into the battlefield. So that'll give us a little bit of time. I want to keep my guys fresh, so I don't want to run too much. Uh, let's go ahead and start walking. Except for these guys. We're going to go ahead and just charge with our Bedouin. Well, let's get go after their... Let's go after their chariots with our Bedouin archers. I want to make sure we get some auxilia over here. Yeah, and they caught up with our Bedouin <laughs> archers. Um, that's too bad. What do we got over here? Just co, just legionaries. I want to get auxilia over here. Let's have these guys halt. And get these guys lined up like this. Hurry up. You devil time. Are we, uh, did we frighten them off? We did. We scared away the reinforcements. Nice. Alright. Let's go back up here and try to get regain this high ground. Oh, they're retreating too. Wait a second, they should not be able to retreat. Because and they're probably gonna end up in their city. So we hardly gotta kill anybody. Just eight percent. We lost our Bedouin archers. Okay, so they they retreated. Now we'll see where they end up. Yeah, 
that's not too bad. Uh, we can hit them outside of the city and even take their city. Although I kind of didn't want to take their city. Let's keep this guy here. Because I wanted to make them a client state. We're getting our good diplomat on the way. I don't know if he's going to make a difference or not. Alright, I'm going to have this army load up and head back to the mainland. As well as this fleet. I think we've got enough people to discourage Parthia and Armenia. If they do, we can recall them. We also have a lot of troops uh, over here in Egypt finishing off the Egyptians. But... We're going to need them over here, especially if the Scipio have any plans to recall their forces out this way. Looks like they're finally dealing with the uh, Numidia. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Let's take a look at the recruitment report. I've been training up a lot more peasants because uh, I just want to increase my taxes and try to take care of my uh, budget so here's our uh, construction report We're building some shipwrights and highways and uh, just getting more economical buildings alright we're finally uh, turning a profit again with all the uh, increased taxes that we've been raising now I'm not sure if I should take this army first or if I should just hit this army um, a lot of Nile Spearmen. What do they got in reserves? Pretty big force in reserves as well. Let's just go take this army out first. They don't have much left. Let's go. Let's Alright! We wiped them out without losing one guy. Okay, so now... Let's see. Let's talk to their... F well, we can't break off the siege. So we won't be able to talk to him. Unfortunate. They still have actually a few guys over here. I'm just gonna get my fleet surrounding the uh, surrounding Sicily over here. We're gonna get be prepared to blockade all their ports. We'll have to attack their ships as well. So yeah, I want these guys on this side. I will need one more fleet here to get uh, this city. Oh, got him right here. Okay. So, yeah. We have one, two, three over here. And then one, two, three. We'll need another fleet. We can split one of these fleets. We'll split one of these up. So we can get all the cities over here blockaded. I don't know about Carolus. Uh, we'll also have to take care of their fleets. We got another fleet here. It's ready to go. I want to train these guys up. And their ship needs says armor upgrade, but we can send these guys out here. So I'm going to have Opius take this army over here. We'll just have him move out. And Quintus is following up with this army. I'll have to get one more guy, but shouldn't be a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and lift the siege. And then try to get my... This is my good diplomat. We're going to try to get... We're going to... This is the last chance. This is his last chance. Uh, we're going to try to make him my client state. We're going to give him a lot of money. Let's try a hundred thousand denarii. And if they don't accept this, we definitely will attack. I mean, uh, this is it. We're not going to offer it again. Let's see if it works. Nope. Okay. Well, that's it for you. Attack! Okay, we're going to have to build some rams. That's fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this army moving out to their last settlement. It's going to take some time. I was really hoping for, hoping to make them a protectorate. Maybe I still have a chance once this, uh, I take this settlement and they're down to the last settlement. 
So, I'm not quite ready to attack just yet. I need to get this army in the north positioned. I've actually transferred them over onto ships. So let's get a general for this admiral. And this army, yeah, get uh, Oppius over here. We're just going to get really close. Let's see, where do we want to go with this army? Take a look at these guys in Araminum. All these Praetorian cohorts and legionary cavalry. This is going to be one tough siege. And I, I noticed last turn, Scipii over here moved all their guys out of their capital. Uh, they have an urban cohort. Wow. They moved all their guys onto the boats last turn. So I had an opportunity to strike, but I didn't take it. But I'm going to wait one more turn. And because of that, I'm just going to have my generals go out for a little jog. Because... If you don't move your generals, they uh, get negative traits. And my generals already have too many negative traits. So, we're just going to have them jog around. And do that. Alright, I'm going to end another turn. A lot of uh, diploma diplomacies going on. Julia is at war with Numidia. Dacia and Britannia are allies. And Carthage and Julia are allies. Wow. So Dacia is now a protectorate of Britannia. And Carthage is a protectorate of... So they've got Carthage and Dacia. But what about Britannia? How can Dacia have two protectorates? It's got Britannia and the Julii. Interesting. Wow, that, that's unfortunate for us. They don't need to f focus on a war with Carthage. Wow, look at Carthage. Man, I can't get Egypt for the life of me to become a protectorate and Julii just do it like nothing. It's just not fair. Alright, a lot going on with our retinue. Let's take a look at our interns. Still in the negatives. Despite all the... Uh, Raising of taxes and stuff. I didn't recruit as much either this turn, but we've got the money. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and assault. We got a five to two ratio. We got their faction leader, a lot of units, a lot of chariots. It's going to be a nasty siege. Let's go. All right, I got them um, surrounded with three groups, and I'm just going to go ahead and. March my archers up first before we start hitting the, the gates. All right, let's go. Let's see, they got guys stationed on. Oh, just uh, we got two archers here, but only one chariot unit. I'm going to have him actually go back. I'm going to send one archer unit back to the front because um, there's not enough. There's only one little target here. We'll get this group to join these archers to grow, go here, but I'm going to stay away from those towers for sure. Let them take a slow walk. Okay, we're firing here. They're going all crazy, opening the gates with their chariots. I doubt they'll attack me. But just in case, <laughs> let's get out there. Yeah. Just in case. Ah, oh, we're doing good damage. They've got a uh, bowman over here. Glad they've opened the gates so we can fire right through the gates. Nice move, chariots. Actually, let's get behind them so they have a clearer view. See if I can hit those Pharaoh's bowmen. I'm doing the most damage over at this gate. Kill 
Getting those Pharaoh's bowmen. Pretty nice. Hitting their heavy infantry, Desert Axemen. Good, I'm doing a lot of damage over here with these uh, archers. They're bringing even more guys over. Good. I'm going to start sending my rams forward. The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work! Where's my cavalry? Roman cavalry quickly. I'm going to go try to take out these bowmen real quick. Do they have anything behind them? They have some chariots here. Alright, let's see if they react with their chariots. We're just going to charge them. And if we see anyone coming, we're going to retreat. Uh, what's over here? Chariots. Okay, get out. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Quickly. Quickly, please. Charge my auxilia. Ah, they didn't get out fast enough. Mm. They're mostly making it out. Good. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. So our auxilia are going in there and we're going to hit their chariots. Uh, let's hold off on this. Alright, that was actually pretty successful. Uh, they still have 99 bowmen though. If I can maybe do it again. See if they come after me again. Their chariots. Maybe if I get my auxilia in here, go this way. They'll be a little bit safer. Still there are gonna be doing pretty good against their chariots. Nice, another unit of chariots coming. Let's go take them out. Alright, we got another group of chariots routed. But we are completely stuck in the gates. And they're hitting us with fire arrows. We need to get the other sides in here. Let's get these guys in here. And this side. Let's get this side in here too. These guys are completely out of arrows. Alright. 
Yeah, the bulk of the fighting's over here. Ah. Uh. We're routed. Alright, let's get out. Everyone get out of the gates. Rally. Alright, over here. We're doing alright. Let's get our archers a little bit closer. Get some of them on that hill. <laughs> Let's get on that hill. Maybe you can see better. My general rally, can they rally from this far? I don't know. What's going on here? Don't go back in the city. This attack failed, didn't you know? Are they coming after us? Alright, what do I do next? Uh, we got three so three attacks to worry about. Where are they gonna which way are they gonna come? Archer. Do I have any archers with the arrows left besides this one group? Just one group. Alright. Okay, those chariots are routed. Good. Oh, ha what happened over here? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. And these guys went back in the gates. Okay, we're not going to repeat the same mistake twice. Get out. Because I was attacking those guys at the gate, and then I left them. And they went inside, they followed him. Ugh. You guys just sit sit tight for now. Why can't I select him? That is so weird. Alright. Big nasty seeds, that's what this is. Are okay, they're shooting their bows at us, but I don't think they can hit us because of the uh, there's a building. So do I want to? How do I approach them? Let's get my archers in the gate. Double time. And just go ahead and charge these guys. There's only nine of them. They're exhausted, wavering. Should be able to take them out real quick. Okay, go back to being formed up. Alright, you guys. Actually, you protect them. We'll get our cohorts here. Double time. Get another cohort. Take on those chariots. There's four left. Oh, there's two groups. And those guys routed. Just 
go here double time. Back up a little bit. Let him get around the corner and then we'll charge with our cohorts. Go. There's their Egyptian cavalry. Okay, get my legionary over here. I need to get my auxilia to target their cavalry. We're going to tackle their bowmen. Archers go after their general. Got anybody else out of here? No, everyone's inside. Uh, I was really hoping to get him from both sides. Okay, these guys can finally go back in. King has been killed. We killed their king. His followers waver. Come on, hurry up. Get around that corner, General. Hit him in the back. Okay, he's got 65 guys left, but we got him surrounded. He's wavering. There, he's routed. We got him. All right, can these guys just go here? You guys halt. Uh, get my general out of there. Back off, general. Same with my cavalry. You guys go over here. Come on, get in here. We got one. We got some chariots. We got some just ragtag people. Let's just get my infantry to charge. This cavalry. All right. Let's just get everyone in here. Guys, don't charge those guys. Just go this way. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't hit them on the spears, please. Come on, you guys, get in here. Go this way. Go after this group. Yes, go after this group. Let the infantry handle the spears. You guys go over here. Good. Get these guys over here to route. Their last stand. And 
it is a nasty siege, just like I predicted. 2% left. There's two guys left. Okay, everyone hold your fire. Man. Just killed the three of our general's bodyguards. That could have been our general. 510 casualties. That's actually not too bad considering what they had. And I don't want to enslave more people. I'm going to exterminate them. And uh, that's it for Egypt. This must have been their last family member. They must not have had any family members left because they still had this territory over here. But now it's a rebel territory. So that's it. Egypt is destroyed. They refuse to let us protect them. So we had to destroy them. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. But it's another province for us. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.